The White House now says 90% of adults in the U.S. will be eligible for a coronavirus vaccine by April 19th. It's the latest vaccination goal set by the Biden administration after they already surpassed 100 million shots in his first 100 days. Here's what the president said at the White House earlier. Cases are rising and the virus is spreading in too many places still. That's why today I'm taking these steps to make our American turnaround story, a vac our vaccination program, move even faster. Thanks to all the work we've done these past 10 weeks, the added steps I'm announcing today with them, I'm pleased to announce that at least 90 percent of all adults in this country will be eligible to be vaccinated by April the 19th, just three weeks from now. For more on this, I want to bring in CBS News Chief White House Correspondent Nancy Cordes. Nancy, how does the Biden administration plan to accomplish this new goal of making 90 percent of the U.S. population eligible for the vaccine by April 19th? Nikki, it plans to do that by implementing uh, various measures that it had already promised to do. So, for example, President Biden said that one of the ways they would accomplish that this is by making sure that 90 percent of Americans were within five miles of a vaccine site. And how do you do that? Well, you do that by increasing the number of pharmacies that are participating in the federal vaccine program from about 17,000 right now up to 40,000. That's the goal by April 19th. And that's actually a goal that this White House had set out weeks ago. So this is simply the president reiterating that they are going to meet that goal. He also said that by that time, there are going to be 12 more federally run mass vaccination sites around the country than we have right now that are capable of vaccinating thousands of people a day, usually on a drive through basis. So he said that that's going to help. And one thing that I've noticed about this White House is that they typically don't set out goals that they don't already believe they can meet. So if this president is saying that he believes that a, a realistic goal is to have 90 percent of Americans eligible for the vaccine by April 19th, then he has spoken to his experts and they think that that is achievable, especially because production of the vaccine is ramping up so dramatically. You already heard him say that this week they're on target to distribute about 30 million doses of the vaccine. When he came into office, it was only about 10 million doses a week. And so those numbers are ramping up so quickly that they are able to tinker with the goals that they keep setting out there for April 1st and May 1st and on and on. Nancy, you mentioned President Biden also announcing that the majority of Americans will have a vaccination site within five miles of their home. How will they make this happen? And what is the administration doing to address those high risk seniors or those with disabilities who need access to vaccines? Well, you heard President Biden say that they're going to be adding more measures to enable that those high risk seniors, especially ones who don't live near a vaccination site or can't get to one, have the transportation they need to get to uh, some kind of location where they could get the vaccine. So that's a that's a key element here is transportation, especially for rural Americans or people who don't have automobiles or somebody who can drive them. You need to figure out a way to get these elderly Americans to a vaccination site. And then um, beyond that, aside from the most rural areas of this country, he's saying that 90 percent of Americans within the next few weeks should live within five miles of a health center or a pharmacy um, or, or some other kind of facility where the vaccine is being delivered and so that it isn't this huge hurdle that you need to go through where you have to take a day off of work or half a day off of work just to, to drive somewhere to get a vaccine. You're able to do it relatively quickly and get back to your regular life. New York joined the list of states opening up vaccine eligibility to everyone over age 16 starting next week. But health officials are warning of rising cases across the country. How does the Biden administration plan to handle this or any future surges? Well, they are really uh, signaling the alarm from all corners, Nikki. I mean, it was really striking to hear the head of the CDC this morning saying that she essentially has a sinking feeling, a pit in her stomach when she looks at 
the COVID numbers over the past week. They were holding steady, she said, at about 40 to 50,000 cases a week, and now they're on the rise, and we're looking at about 60 to 70,000 cases a week. And the argument she was making, the argument you just heard the president make is, we are so close to the finish line, don't let your guard down now. And in fact, the president very pointedly called on all governors to keep up or reinstate mask mandates across the country. Because, you know, obviously there's a lot of euphoria out there, a lot of people who see the end in sight now that they've been able to get a vaccination or they know others who've been able to get a vaccination. And there is a concern here at the White House that people are letting their guards down, that they are doing things that they wouldn't have done a couple of months ago when they were being much more cautious. But as we're seeing here and around the world, really, um, we're seeing spikes again, new variants. And so the argument uh, coming out very unambiguously from this administration is that this is not the time to let your guard down. You know, things will be much better by early summer, but we don't want to see a bunch of deaths that could have been prevented right at the tail end of the vaccination process. Nancy Cortez, thank you. You're welcome.